All right, guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at yet another handy feature, which is basically an idle timer. Our goal in this video is to implement a session timeout in a React application. This is again a pretty common use case where you want the user to be logged out if they are idle for let's say 15 minutes. The package we are going to be making use of is React Idle Timer. Now to get us started, I have already created a project using Create React App. Open the terminal in the project folder and run the command yarn add react hyphen idle hyphen timer. Now let's see the basic usage of this component. First, I'm going to open app.js and get rid of the header section. Next, I'm going to create a components folder and within the folder, create a new file called idletimercontainer.js. Let's implement our code in this file. Start off by importing the component. So import idletimer from react idletimer. Also make sure to add a React component, so RFCE. And then I'm going to move React as the top import. All right now in our idle timer container JSX, we can add the component idle timer. To this component, we need to add a few props, the first of which is a ref prop. So we need to specify a reference to this component. And the way we create a reference is using the useRef hook. At the top, from React, import useRef. And next, in the idle timer container, we call useRef, initial value of null, and we assign this to a variable called idle timer ref. We now assign this idle timer ref to the ref prop on the idle timer component. So ref is equal to idle timer ref. Once we have a reference, we can define two more props. The first one is the time in milliseconds after which the component should inform that there is no activity in your tab. The prop is called timeout. And this we are going to set it to 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds. Once we specify the timeout prop, we now need a way to handle the component alerting us when the 5 seconds have elapsed. For that, we specify the on idle prop. This is basically a function that gets executed when 5 seconds have passed with the user not doing any of the events that the library watches for. If I quickly head over to GitHub, see that the events are mouse, keyboard scroll events and so on. So if the user does nothing for 5 seconds, I want the component to call a function called on idle. Let's create this function const on idle and for now simply log to the console that the user is idle. This is pretty much the basic version of the idle timer component. I'm going to save this file included in app.js. In the terminal Run the command yarn start. In the browser, I'm going to open the console to view the log message. So refresh, stay idle for 5 seconds, and you see the idle timer message. User is idle. If you move the mouse around or perform other events, the timer gets reset 
and after five seconds of no activity again, the message is logged. So you can see that it now says twice user is idle. As you can see, it is a pretty straightforward component to implement. There are a couple more props that the component accepts, but rather than explore those props, I felt let's take up a common use case we have in web applications and see how this idle timer component can help us with that. The use case is that of session timeout. For example, if you log into a banking website and remain idle for five minutes, you will automatically be logged out. The time depends on the type of the web application, but session timeout is definitely something that is common across web applications. Let me show you how to implement that with the idle timer component. The first step is to create a state variable which indicates whether the user is logged in or logged out. For state, we need to use the use state hook. So import at the top and then declare a variable. Variable name is is logged in. Function is set is logged in and the variable is initially true, which means the user is logged in by default. The state variable, I'm going to add some simple JSX. User is logged in, so is logged in is true. I'm going to render an h2 tag that says hello Vishwas. If the user is not logged in, I'm going to render an h2 tag again that says hello guest. This is our first step, maintaining a logged in state. The second step, we need to display a model to the user when they are idle for the given five seconds. The model will basically ask the user if they want to log out or stay active. In one of our earlier videos in the series, we have gone through the React model library. So I'm going to go through this step two fairly quicker. First, open the terminal and add the package. The command is yarn add react hyphen modal. In the idle timer container, modal from react modal. Set the app element for the modal. Set app element, and this is going to be the root element. Next, we need to create a state variable that controls whether the modal is open or not. So you state the variable is modal is open. Is set modal is open and the modal is closed by default. So the initial value is false. Finally, we define the modal JSX. So the modal component content we're going to have an h2 tag that says you've been idle for a while and then let's add a paragraph tag that says you will be logged out soon and then I'm going to add two buttons the first button is going to tell log me out on click Let's say we call a method called logout. And similarly, the second button is going to be keep me signed in. And let's call this function active. And we control whether the modal is open or not using the is open prop passing in our state variable. Modal is open. That our step two, defining the modal component. Next, we need to decide when to open this modal. It's simple really. We open the modal when the user is idle. And how do we know when the user is idle? The method is executed. So after the console log, I'm just going to call set modal is open, passing in true. This will set is open to true 
on the modal and the modal will be opened. Now before we implement the click handlers, let's see our progress. So I'm going to remove the on click handlers, save the file, open the terminal, run yarn start, for five seconds the modal opens you've been idle for a while you will be logged out soon and we prompt the user with two buttons either log them out or keep them signed in so our step two works fine the next bit is to implement the click handlers for logout and stay active. The logic is pretty simple again. If the user clicks on logout, we close the modal and set is logged in to false. If the user clicks on stay active, we only have to close the modal. Let's define these functions. The first one, let's define stay active because it's a pretty straightforward one. So const stay active is going to be an arrow function where we basically close the modal. So set modal is open to false. And then I'm just going to add a log statement. User is active. Next, let's define the logout function. So const logout is going to be equal to an arrow function. And over here, we need to set two things. First, we need to close the modal. So set modal is open false. And we also need to log out the user. So set is logged in to false as well. And I'm just going to add a log statement. User has logged out. Let's save the file, head back to the browser and test it out. On page load, the user is logged in and we see the message, hello Vishwas. I stay idle and after 5 seconds, the modal opens. I click on stay active or keep me signed in. You can see that the user is still active and the JSX remains hello Vishwas. I stay idle for 5 more seconds. But this time, I click on logout. You can see that the user is logged out and the text now reads hello guest. So our code works perfectly fine. One last scenario that we need to consider is logging out the user if they are idle even after the modal is displayed. For that, we need a reference. So back in the idle timer container, we need another reference. So this is going to be const session timeout ref is equal to use ref and initialize to null. Then on idle, that is when the modal is displayed, we also start a timeout. And that is to log the user out if they don't click on the stay active button. So session timeout ref dot current is equal to set timeout and then we log them out after five more seconds. So call the out function after five seconds. And then in both stay active and logout functions, we need to clear this timeout. So if at all there was user interaction, we don't need this timeout anymore. So clear out and we pass in our session timeout reference. We need to copy this, paste it in logout as well. And that is pretty much our session timeout component. Let's head back to the browser and test it one last time. On page load, we are logged in. Hello Vishwas. Stay idle. Five seconds. In, we are still signed in. 
stay idle again. Wait for five seconds. Click on log out. Again, stay idle. Moodle pops up. Remain idle for five more seconds and you're automatically logged out. Completed. Now one thing handled here is displaying the pop-up even if the user has logged out. This depends on the implementation of your application, so I will leave that for you guys to explore. But you basically could check to ensure that the idle timer component is rendered only if the user is logged in. Now there are a few more props on the idle timer component that I will leave for you guys to explore. You can, you can of course also change the time duration for idle time and the auto logout time. But this is what I wanted to demo. Session timeout using the idle timer component. I'm hopeful that it is going to be of use in one of your projects. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.